All right. Good morning. And welcome to your HMG weekly wrap up. How's everybody doing? It is good to be back in the home studio. And uh, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So I take a minute here. We'll get some people on. If uh, if you jump on, let me know where you're at. Jump on, say hello. Uh, we're doing it a little bit differently today. We got this. Uh, we're doing an Instagram live uh, as well, which is a lot different, I'll say. So, <clears throat> but it's good to be good to be back. How's everybody doing this week? If you're on, if you jump on, let me know you're out there. Say hello, where you're at. Give me just a hot second here. I'm going to share this so we can get some more people on here, and then we'll get this show started. Uh, Excited about this week. The Pando Commando. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Merry Christmas to you, too. Pando Commando. Love the name. Good person behind that brand. Appreciate you jumping on, brother. Hope you're staying warm. <clears throat> ah, how's everybody doing? Um, who's ready for Christmas? And uh, I think we're gonna have uh, malfunction again, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Whatever, because I know if I don't wear the bow tie, everybody gets gets upset, and I start getting comments. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so. We had a uh, early, early Christmas, uh, my family and I. We, we drove back to, wife and I drove back to Wisconsin again, uh, obviously this time of year. Those of you that have been following me for a while know that this type of year, this time of year is, is a lot of travel for me. My annual hunting trip, uh, which was great. And then this year, um, Last week, I was back in Wisconsin for an early early Christmas with, with uh, my family back there. Great to see everybody. Got to spend time with my grandparents, um, help my parents kind of get moved into their our, our new cabin uh, up there. Heather, good morning. Thank you for jumping on, Heather24. Um, and it was, it was good. You know, not uh, any snow. The weather wasn't too incredibly cold cold it's been a pretty mild uh winter i would say thus far so ken good morning brother over there on facebook appreciate you um <clears throat> but it was good time uh, i was able to see my siblings my grandparents spend time with my my parents i'm on both families uh just all around good time but more importantly i think <clears throat> or what i got excited for was a uh, little bird uh, came home from college. He's he's home uh, for about a week, and then he's off uh, doing his uh, stuff again. And then I'll see him next month as he's getting ready to turn 21 uh, next month. So it's it's been a, a great uh, a great Christmas season, I would say, thus far. It can get very stressful for people. And uh, happy holidays, Ryan Hunt. Appreciate you jumping on, brother. Um, how many of you are ready for Christmas? I mean, it's it kind of, I mean, you think about it. Like Christmas is Monday, right? It's it, it's already here. Like what happened to this year uh, already? It, fast year, I think. Especially the last couple months, I think have gone by really fast. <clears throat> and I think it's just been kind of uh, very interesting with everything that's gone on in in the world or what's happening in the world you kind of i don't know we get wrapped up in our own our own little world we kind of tend to forget about some of the things that are that are uh, going on whatever <clears throat> um <clears throat> christmas so like i said great christmas with my family uh now i'm back in the home office here uh, this week we'll be here for about a month, and then we're getting on the road again uh, and whatnot. So 
let's get over with 2023 and get on with 20. Yeah. And and we're going to get into that, Ryan, uh, here in a second here. It's, it's kind of funny that you bring that up because I got some of the headlines that we're, that we're seeing, uh, 2024. We're going to go over. I told you guys last week, those of you that saw the, the show last week, I was in Wisconsin. I said, I kept the show pretty short last week. I didn't go over any headlines. And I said that I was going to do that this week. So as promised, um, that's what we're going to get into here in just a second. But um, before we do that, what are some um, some Christmas holiday traditions that you do with your families? Leave some comments as we go on through the show. But what are some uh, Christmas traditions in your family? Um some of the things I absolutely you know love about this time of year, other than just getting to spend time with with your loved ones, um, is is the food. I'm I'm a foodie, uh, and I have I have have a tendency to overindulge a little bit um, this time of year, and uh, so <clears throat> I get into the the. Um, cookies like my my sister-in-law made a bunch of christmas cookies and and i went uh i went overboard with those so uh, i will definitely get, be getting back into the gym here <laughs> very soon um movies christmas movies i've, I've posted those the last couple of weeks kind of some of the christmas movies that we've watched christmas caroling and songs and stuff like that but um this is a this is a great time of year and and those of you that are that are believers uh, and Jesus, you know, remember it's the celebration of Jesus' birthday, although, although historically it was probably in July, but this is when we celebrate it. So remember what this season um, is all about when you go into this weekend. Um, that's all I'll say about that. But uh, I appreciate you guys being here today. So let's get started on some of these headlines here. <clears throat> Uh, cause I picked out, I think I picked out some doozies. All right. So, uh, first one, uh, that I found, and, and I guess you could kind of say that these are all, uh, WTF headlines <laughs> really, um, study says breathing causes climate change. Breathing causes climate change. 10th mountain. Thank you for the yeah, nice bow tie. Appreciate it. Uh, breathing causes climate change. We, this has all been, yeah. A new study from the British journal, uh, Polis, P-L-O-S, Polis 1, excuse me, claimed that human breathing causes uh, global warming. Exhaled human breath can contain small elevated uh, concentrations of methane, or CH4, for all you science guys out there. And gals and nitrous oxide n2o uh, both which contribute to global warming found that to be somewhat fascinating global warming is caused by breathing why do i feel like here in the next couple of months we're going to be talking about this again just in a different context this has been a weird. If you guys noticed this year, is there's been a lot on um, a lot of environmental issues. If you've been paying very close attention, global warming has uh, been a, a a very big uh, topic. Um, I think this year, uh, especially with all the new green energy things that are going on, and then you're talking about uh, you know uh, Tesla and you know. Um, Car batteries and the the electric vehicles, as I'm trying to say, the uh, uh, EVs and stuff like that. It's it's pretty interesting stuff to see what what is all being said. And I think 2024 is really going to be an interesting year. David, thank you, sir. Good morning to you. Appreciate you, Christina. Sis, good morning. How are you? Appreciate you. So yeah, um, now you guys know that breathing causes climate change you heard it here so uh don't take my word for it remember the stuff that i bring to you and present to you during this show uh, don't don't take adam's word for it simply look it up take your time go look this stuff up whatever fascinates you uh next up 
This one was interesting. Uh, five gray wolves were released in Colorado this week, and there's plans. Um, the plans. Colorado has plans to introduce another 30 to 50 over the course of the next five years. A lot of uproar about the wolves being released in Colorado. So uh, my understanding was these, these five, these five wolves were taken from uh, Northern Oregon and then brought down into Colorado and, and released in, in Colorado against a lot of people uh, a lot of ranch obviously ranchers are concerned as they should be uh, but there was i guess the the mayor or the, uh, the the governor was getting a lot of backlash um on this this was not something that environmentalists wanted there was a lot of people um in the uh, uh national forest uh, service and whatnot did not think this was a good idea and they went ahead and went through it anyway what are your guys's thoughts on on releasing animals into an area that might not normally be there I'll give you another example that's happened and yes david the bow time having a mal uh, a malfunction oh there we go i think i hooked it that time um there there uh the state of Wisconsin had released two different herds of elk uh, earlier this year, last year, might've been a couple of years ago. Anyway, one of the elk recently, and I didn't put this on the thing, but um, I read this yesterday that there was an elk hit just outside of a suburb of Colorado or Chicago. Jeez. Uh, there was an elk that was hit by a motorist just outside of chicago and it was a, a they recognized the elk from its tag um then it came from one of the the herds in wisconsin up near black river falls that's a that's a long journey for that elk to travel to, to, from black river falls to to chicago those of you uh, up there are not familiar with it it's it's a few hour drive from black river falls to to the chicago suburb area so <clears throat> it's pretty interesting that they're migrating that far south. But what are your thoughts on putting the wolves in, into Colorado? I, I got mixed feelings on it. I, I, I understand why, you know, gray wolves, endangered species, uh, let's let's introduce them into, into an area that they could thrive in. But the problem is you got ranchers, and, and, and then what do, what do those wolves do then to uh, – the the cattle population and what do they do to like you know the elk herd or the deer herd and stuff like that 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 are in the, those areas then so how do you manage how do you manage stuff like that um david uh let's see there let's let's put this up let's, david says eh, especially if the animals are not usually found there okay interesting interesting good okay, sub so, Hey, Mark, Patriot Pride, brother. Appreciate you jumping on. Camouflage Sisters, good morning. Thank you guys for jumping on. Always good to have the Camouflage Sisters uh, say hello. Appreciate it. So I was really kind of taken back. I was really surprised. And, and the fact that they're planning on releasing another 30 to 50 wolves into the Colorado, the state of Colorado over the next five years, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Hunting laws how the ranchers are going to take to it if it affects anything at all i'm sure it will it usually does but it, it will be interesting to see what happens um let's go to the next one here uh u.s steel sold to japanese com uh, company uh, the united states steel corporation is being sold to japan's prom uh, predominant steel maker Nippon Steel Corporation is purchasing U.S. steel for nearly $15 billion. Now, why is that important or why did I pick that up? A lot of people think, um, a lot of people I've been talking to have been saying this is not good for the United States. I kind of disagree respectfully, and here's why. I think with the technology that, that Japan has and um, and Japan's pretty big in steel as well. I think you're going to see a lot of new technologies come from this and a lot of new, I don't know. I just, I, my gut's telling me that this is a, that this is going to be all right. And this will be a, a decent move. 
Um, on the on the flip side of that, is it sad to see that we're selling out to other countries? Yes, I would like to see more uh, companies here in the United States manufacturing things here uh, in the United States as opposed to, to outsourcing things to other countries, my personal opinion. But I get it. It's, it's a checks and balance kind of a thing. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. U.S. Steel uh, company sells to Japan. So, yeah, David, American made. I, I, you know, I agree. It's, uh, yeah, it that, that it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But here's the thing: you look at it and like, why you you ask these companies and these business people like, why do we outsource everything overseas? Is because it's so much cheaper to do it overseas. Well, there's, you know, that's a whole nother. Uh, topic for another day and there's some controversy and why why it's so much cheaper elsewhere why can't it be cheap here you got to remember you look at the history of the world the united states is still kind of the new kid on the block when you think about it right we're, we're kind of a melting pot of, of just what uh of, of it's like a giant experiment I mean, the United States is kind of an experiment. What's what's going on? Everybody else has been doing things for hundreds and hundreds of years. And the United States is still kind of the new kid on the block. So it's almost like we're trying to find our feet still, if that makes sense. Um. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Let me ask you this. Here's the next one. Um, there's been a lot of talk about Netflix lately, and there's a – uh, top Netflix children's show features boy in dress dances for two dads. Uh, an episode of the popular children's show uh, Chameleon Lane shows a young boy in a tutu dancing for his two dads. The show on Netflix is a top rated children's program. I added this in there because I kind of want to get you guys' thoughts on this. Um, what are your thoughts on kids? being exposed to stuff like that i again one way or the other you know you could say well it's the real world this is what we're doing now this is we're just exposing kids to this the other a lot of people i think are uh would be hey don't expose kids to that kind of thing it's not not appropriate what are your guys thoughts on that again look that up it's a netflix children's show <clears throat> a lot of talk have been been going around on that Damn, what's up, brother? Uh, yeah, it needs to stop. It does. I, you know, it, it, it. it a lot of people have different opinions on it, and and um, it, I think what, re regardless of the type of uh, lifestyle you live or what your beliefs are, um, leave kids out of it. That's it. Keep your eye on the bar. <laughs> um. All right. Next up, this one here. Uh, pretty sad. Uh, I, this one here, there was a uh, U.S. homelessness is at an all time high. Uh, the Department of Housing and Urban Development released a report detailing that homelessness across the United States now has increased uh, 12 percent. Um, on a single night in January. An estimated 650,000 people experienced homelessness. Now, there's, I think that's kind of open ended. Like, you have to understand, like, okay, what's the meaning or what's their definition of homelessness? You know, 650,000, that's a lot of people. Uh, the number is the highest number of people reported as, experience, as experiencing homelessness on a single night since reporting began in 2007. Um, Asian and Asian American people had the largest increase of homelessness up 40% from 2022. Okay. Well, um, why do we think that is, I'm not one to speculate, but you know, they're, you're seeing a lot of people coming into the country, um, undocumented, um, and you're focusing a lot on like the, the Southern border. So you think, oh, it's people from the South and you know, you got people from the, from the far east coming in the southern border and and whatnot so it's it's uh it's not surprising 
that we're seeing more homelessness here in the in the United States. Uh, okay, let me catch up here. Uh, Matthew Farley, yes, absolutely, and thank you for jumping on. Mark, homeless is going to get worse. Yeah, veteran homelessness is one of. The... <clears throat> yeah, David, uh, you know it's another one. You know, the veteran homelessness. You know, we don't we don't really talk much about it, and we, and we really should. Maybe that's something, David, we need to address more in twenty twenty four. Uh, Mark Peterson, income has not uh, trended with inflation over the years. You know, I, I I agree with that. And here's the, let's you since you're bringing that up, it's kind of interesting because you're talking about you know everybody there was that big push for hey we need to bring everybody to uh, you know a minimum wage up to fifteen dollars an hour and you got to do this this and this. The problem when you do that is people don't un- realize like okay well that gallon of milk that was a dollar fifty just went to five dollars or or four fifty or whatever. I think milk out here out east and some of the areas here is like 4 30 to 475 it got expensive i remember you know in 1997 it was <laughs> you get milk for like a, a buck 25 a gallon excuse me a gallon of milk for a buck 25 and now it's 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 insane we want everybody's wages to go up we think that's the issue but when it all comes down to it, it's everybody's prices are going up and they're saying, well, you know, it, everything got more expensive. Is it, or is the companies just adding prices to X, Y, and Z for their profit? You know, a lot of these comp- big, big companies are, are tacking on, you know, a thousand percent just to make their profit. And I get it. I'm a business guy. I, I understand it. I don't think it's right, but what's the, what's the, let's, let's stop going back and forth and let's find a solution i think the solution is wipe everything clean start from scratch is it too late to do that i don't know oh wow i love the fact that you guys are on it this morning mark peterson mark he, let's hear uh veterans on rule of 72 everything doubles in price every seven years that's the first time i've heard that i didn't know that uh Hey, David, appreciate you, man. Merry Christmas, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, I, you know, you look at it and I just, I think it's, it's, it's one of those things where what are you going to do? We're, we're in a position, um, every, you know, inflation, 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 everything's going up and eventually there's going to be a crash. And when it happens, it's not going to be pretty, unfortunately. Just my thought. And, and, you know, do I think this crash is going to happen in 2024? I think 2024 is going to be a very interesting year. They're already talking about, you know, a pandemic too and this and that. Now, why do you think they're talking about that? Could it be that there's an election coming up next year? Uh, Could the powers that be want X, Y, and Z? And I'll talk a little bit about it next week, you know, getting into our our new year uh, show what to look for so we're not gonna talk about that today but yeah it's it, it's crazy what's going on um all right last one this is the last headline uh that i picked and it, it, it i'm gonna it, it i'm gonna warn you it's it's graphic okay um it, very graphic i think uh senator ben Cardin from uh he's a democrat in in maryland was angry after staffer appeared in gay sex tape in Senate hearing room, says he won't comment on personal issues. What are they doing down in the Senate hearing room? Apparently they're filming things that they shouldn't be filming. Uh, Senator said on Monday that he was angry after his now former staffer was identified as a subject of a hardcore gay pornography film on the Senate hearing room or in the Senate hearing room and told reporters he would not comment on personal issues. That's it. Jokes write themselves, folks. There's so many to that that it's just you couldn't believe it. on on the Senate hearing. Yeah, people are, uh, yeah. Anyway, 
moving on. We have some exciting things coming up 2024. Um, in the process of me traveling last week, Mark, I, Mark, <laughs> I'll get Mark, you're right. Everyone should be, uh, should be canned, tighten it up. Mm. I'm going to try to, <laughs> they, they should, yeah, tighten it up. Uh, I think everybody in, in our government, you, you know, our government, I'll say this real quick and then I'm going to move on. The government stuff that you go on, you look at it, more than 51% of the jobs here in the United States are, are related to the government, whether it's, you know, city, state, federal. Um, it's just, it's not going to, you're not going to get rid of <clears throat> government stuff. It's, it's just there. Mark, Merry Christmas, brother. Uh, so 2024 needs to be a change. I'll, I'll go more into that in, in next week's show, uh, for the new year show. But I will say this in my travels, some of the good things that have happened, um, uh, last week, spending time with my parents, speaking of my parents, pop, good morning. <laughs> my pop's watching. Love it. Um, and mom. We got new shows. We got some new. We got some. Got some new shows uh, coming up uh, right now. Uh, Free the people, buy the people. For my buddy AJ Richards. If you're not familiar uh, with him, go to Free the People, Buy the People on Instagram, or just look up AJ Richards on uh, on Instagram. A hundred thousand followers. He's he's doing a lot of stuff in the meat industry uh, out in Southern Utah. Um, happy to have him back. He's had several shows on the, uh, HMG platform in the past and, uh, just an all around good guy. New show coming in January called, uh, every man's odyssey, uh, was gotten in touch with, uh, or was reached out by a, a, a former a friend of mine that was, that I served with. And she tells me, Hey, a uh, bird, I need you to get a hold of this kid. And, um, check out his show he's a new podcaster so every man's odyssey uh stay tuned we got more things coming there so uh, excited about that a lot of new stuff and listen let me put this out there if you if you are a podcaster yourself or you're looking to start a podcast or maybe you know a business or or you're um you know somebody that wants to start a podcast send them our direction. It's what we do. I've been doing podcasting now since 2012 and, uh, we've created two. This is the second company I've created, uh, around podcasting. We've been doing it pretty well. I would say we're, we're eight years under this brand. Uh, and we'd love to help you out. And we, we are a full blown agency, you know, at this point we do hosting, we do, um, audio and video editing. Uh, we can set up your home studios. Now we got a lot of new, services that we're, we're offering in 2024 that we haven't offered in the past that we're excited about, uh, as well as authors. If you are a author and you have a manuscript that you're looking to get uh, published or you have a book that's done and you want to turn it into an audio book, something we specialize in, uh, just get a hold of us. You can email us at info at heroesmediagroup.com. Uh, what do we have here? We've got a couple more people on Instagram. We're live on Instagram for the first time. I've got people jumping in. So thank you guys for jumping in over on Instagram there. Appreciate it. Mark Peterson, what do we got here? Said we got your six at six. Hey, no, no show this week, man. Understandable. Understandable, Mark. But we appreciate you, brother. God bless you. Everybody over at the People's Patriot Project. If you're not following them, you need to be. All right, listen. Uh, let's get into the shows. Uh, so I can get you guys about your way uh, and have a Merry Christmas uh, weekend. Some of the shows, shows this week, phew, fire, straight fire. Love these, love these, love these. Um, first up, we got John, the John Mayo podcast. Uh, this week, we explore <clears throat> how you can redefine your life's journey by questioning the traditional notion of working towards a finish line. What happens when you take away that finish line? How does it look? Um, where do you go? Are you still on the same path? Do things change? It's a pretty interesting uh, topic this week, so check it out. It's the John Mayo Podcast. 
And don't forget, folks, all the podcasts that I'm talking about today for uh, that did shows this week. You can find all of the shows at Heroes Media Group. Simply go to heroesmediagroup.com. Uh, next up, we got the Hero Academy uh, podcast with our man, uh, Super Dave. This week, from SWAT to author, Matthew Thomas. We'll talk about his journey. Um, he is a seasoned author behind Interceptors, sharing an engrossed. Uh, engrossing narrative uh, it's a glimpse into the trials and triumphs of law enforcement and the allure um, of the diverse locals and the involving landscapes of storytelling he uh matthew thomas's revelations blend with casual banter the podcast unveils a tale of uh, resilience camaraderie and the quest for broader connections through literature. Good episode. Liked it. Check it out. It's the Hero Academy with your man, Super Dave. All right, next up, our man, Jerry. From Beyond the Rut, this week, transfer, uh, transform your life with authenticity and aligned choices. Featuring guest Scott Matter. Uh, discover how Scott challenges individuals to live authentically and make choices aligned uh, with their values. And despite the challenges in the fast-paced world that we live in, uh, that we certainly do, don't we? But this week, uh, some of the things that they're going to talk about in this particular episode this week is aligning faith, family, uh, and career-fulfilling life, mastering time, money, and a balanced lifestyle, and then, of course, living authentically and making Aligned choices for your life. Great episode this week, Beyond the Rut. Check it out. Uh, next up, we got Label Free Podcast. Uh, this week, Angel uh, Petrot, uh, a French learning coach, online entrepreneur, and podcaster. Angel shares his journey building a successful business and living a life of his own terms. He explains the approach of teaching French and helping his clients become more fluent in that language. So if uh, you've ever been interested in learning how to speak French, go check this out. Label Free Podcast. Uh, other side of the firewall. <clears throat> Love these guys. Um, it's one of those shows, again, very, uh, you want to learn about tech, this is the show you need to be following. They do a show every day, Monday through Friday. Um, and some of the episodes this week tuesday's episode the u.s nuclear research lab data breach great way to start your christmas holiday right <laughs> nuclear research lab as a data breach um celebrating the abcs of cybersecurity, um and then terrifying infrastructure hacks these are all great episodes they're easily consumable check it out it's called the other side of the firewall uh, next up, Pushing Back Chaos. Uh, this week, Evaluating and Overcoming Our Stressors. This is a great episode. Uh, Mike and Mellon rap about some of their own stressors that they're dealing with currently uh, right now and how they deal with them. Um, and, I, and, I, and I love this episode. Uh, Mike does, uh, does a deep dive and shotguns Mellon with uh, a just a slew of questions and it's really cool the banter back and forth and the answers that they give to some of these questions now what are some of the questions that they ask in this episode you're gonna have to find out take a listen to it it's called pushing back chaos you're gonna love it uh next up uh what do we got next uh because bikers matter podcast this week <clears throat> steven kemper and michael uh fustel hope I said that right. Both Marines, Marine veterans, and the president and vice president of Red Glare Bullet Creations. Listen up. This, If you need Christmas ideas or stocking stuffers still, pay attention. Uh, the conversation revolves around their military service and how it led them to start their own company, creating jewelry and accessories out of bullet casings. Um, they have an Etsy shop, and you can use promo code 
Freedom 10 for 10% off. And I'll post the link. Actually, you know what? I can now do that. I can multitask. I'm going to post the link right here. If it lets me there. <clears throat> um, check that out. Freedom 10 for 10% off. Uh, this company, uh, Red Glare Bullet Creations, the stuff that they create is absolutely stunning. It, it, it's amazing. I, I absolutely love it. I'm all about it. Uh, we're going to be ordered. We've ordered some stuff. Great veteran owned company doing uh, some really cool stuff. So check it out. Ken style, my, my <laughs> left lane campers. Can I hate it when I'm driving, especially long distance when people camp in the left lane? It's a, it's a peeve. That's for sure. Safe driving. Um, so check that out. That's, uh, because bikers matter podcast. Again, the company, uh, that they're talking about this week's episode is red glare bullet creations. Go check it out. They just the, the jewelry that they're making is, is fantastic. And it's a veteran owned company. So get a chance to want, you want to support a veteran owned uh, company, go check them out. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Next up we got. The Misfit Nation podcast, exploring life's trans, uh, transitions with Phyllis Levitt. Um, art, nature, and the journey of writing. This week, Phyllis uh, is a passionate lover of art, nature, and gardening. Her journey is one of evolution, marked with a career in psychotherapy and devotion to family, and now a dedicated pursuit of writing. This is pretty interesting. Um, episode i like this one go check it out it's called the misfit nation podcast <clears throat> all right what do we got over here instagram is lighting up i love this thank you guys for joining yeah they do got some cool stuff i love it uh let me see here all right next up <clears throat> we got a couple more stay with me folks and then we might have a deal at the end so stay with me uh next up we got the msec podcast with our friends over at military child education coalition no matter what holiday you and your loved ones celebrate, whether it's Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever, this time of year can uh, bring about high levels of stress. Ain't that the truth? But this week, Raleigh Sampson shares tips for stress management during the holidays while finding joy in the season check it out it's the msec podcast that is military child education coalition and for those of you out there who are active duty guard reserve first off thank you uh and if you're veterans thank you um if you got kids that are at home uh in grade school this this uh organization military child education coalition is a nonprofit organization they have a slew of resources for you. Go check them out. All right, what do we got next? Next up, we got the Arms Room. This week, they're going over their unfinished episodes from the past year. I love it when they do these shows. So uh, go check it out. It's the Arms Room show. Love it. Every Monday, 2 p.m., Arizona Mountain Time, uh, they got a new episode that comes out. <clears throat> what do we got here? Pop, where's your buck? I haven't hung it up yet. My my pops asking me where my buck. I shot my buck this year. Those of you haven't hung it yet, we're hung. We're hanging it later today, and it's gonna go right back, eh, right about in there somewhere, pop. <clears throat> All right, back to the shows. Next up, we got Chasing Happiness. This week, we're uh, deep diving uh, into the power of commitment with uh, special guest David Wood. This week, this is what they explore on the show this week. Ryan does a great job. I love this show. Um, the transformation of power of commitment in personal and professional life. Um, how to overcome fear of commitment and embrace change. Take notes on that one. And then strategies to stay committed to your goals, even when um, the going gets gets tough. This is a great episode. Check it out. It's called Chasing Happiness. 
<clears throat> All right, next up we got the Joel Evans Show this week. Allrich uh, Dumfly from Carol Bike jumps on the podcast for round two. So he's back for round two. And if you haven't heard round one, it was awesome. But this one is even better. Um, if you want to know the fastest way to get fit, it's simple. <laughs> it's a uh, rehit. It's reduced ex exertion, high intensity interval training. More and more research is showing simply two explosive 20 second sprints in a 10 minute time frame three times a week can dramatically improve your cardiovascular health, your metabolism in your VO two max. I'm going to test this out. I'm, I'm, I'm challenging myself and I challenge any of you out there watching this to test this out uh, in 2024. This is going to be great. Now, mind you guys, after this uh, live here, We'll be coming back on within the next hour. You'll be able to come back on in the comments. You'll see all these shows with the links so you can listen to them directly. Or if you go to heroesmediagroup.com right now, you can check out the shows uh, there online. So that's it for the show. I need to give some uh, some shout-outs here real quick. Uh, my tax fella, uh, one of our, our sponsors and great friend, Anthony Mariello, it's getting time for tax season. If you need help with your taxes or if you're a small business, listen, you small business people out there, one of the things that I am horrible at, I, I, I hate doing bookkeeping. I don't I don't like it. It's, and I, I recognize that fairly early on in, in, in my career. Uh, so I went out and got somebody that does it and does it right. And Anthony's been doing the books for all my businesses for the last nearly a decade. Uh, absolutely love it. Go to mytaxfella.com and uh, check it out. Um, let me see here. What else? JB Auto Clothiers. This is a company near and dear to my heart. I'm a part of this company. We got a lot of good things coming in 2024. 20, uh, custom shirts. We're going to be doing custom ties and bow ties in 2024. Uh, go to JB. It's veteran-owned. Um, James Boggs, good, dear friend of mine. Uh, he's the mastermind behind this. You want to look good, feel good. We do custom made-to-measure suits for you custom and there's a lot that you can do it gets overwhelming at sometimes beautiful suits and they're made here in america the shirts made in america the ties made in america everything that we do is made right here in the good old us of a check it out go to jbautoclothiers.com alibi tattoo we were there yesterday and i didn't even think about taking a picture uh with my man poke and barry uh, the guys down there, Alibi Tattoo, appreciate those guys. Love it. Forget Genetics, my other friend Barry, veteran-owned uh, business for all you deer hunters or, or if you just like having woodland animals and creatures in your yard, go to ForgetGenetics.com and get some of their products uh, today. Check them out. Got to hold brewing. Uh, motorcycle safety lawyers. Um, the Freedom People. New show coming out next week, and we'll have some stuff for you in 2024. So check them out and welcome them aboard. Absolutely love them. Uh, uh, the Freedom People, go check them out, freedompeople.org. Sisu Stamina uh, by the Universal Learning Approach. If you go to Universal Learning Approach, or excuse me, ulauniverse.com, and try their their products. You go to uh, use promo code Heroes Ten. They're gonna give you ten percent off. Uh, check it out. Uh, let me see here. Jim uh, Jim Neri's bait and tackle. Absolutely love those guys. Warriors on the water. Thank you. And then a co uh, Ops Lens, new org, uh, media company that we're working with. They're based out of Florida. Love those guys down there. Thank you guys. Um, what else? HMG Beverage. Check it out. We got coffee. We got some new stuff coming and some new news coming uh, February 2024. So we're excited. We appreciate all of the sponsors. If you would like to sponsor Heroes Media Group, just reach out to us. Send us a DM on one of the social platforms, or you can uh, email us at uh, info at heroesmediagroup.com. And in the subject line, just put sponsor and uh, we'll check it out. So uh, what do we have here? Yeah. <laughs> um, 
listen, guys, thank you guys for 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 joining uh, this morning. This has been a great show. I appreciate all the comments uh, and whatnot. Those of you over on Instagram, I appreciate you uh, jumping on. This is the first time we've been live on Instagram, so thank you. Appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> this weekend, I got I got a favor to ask you guys. Um, this time of year can be stressful. Maybe you haven't talked to that friend or that battle buddy uh, in, in quite a while. Call your battle buddies. Merry Christmas, Ken. Appreciate you, brother. Call your battle buddies. Shoot them a text. Let them know that you're thinking of them. Check in with them. See how everybody's doing. Find the person or, or you know, reach out to the people that you haven't talked to uh, in a while. Let them know that you're there. Let them know that you still care. And... Um, spend time with your loved ones uh this weekend uh with that being said i'm gonna sign off by saying this merry christmas to all of you god bless you god bless america we'll see you guys next week take care